Greetings, programs. This is Rich. Welcome back to Planar Conquest. So we found out we had some neighbors next to the Rook at the end of the last episode, and to tell you guys the truth, I'm not particularly a fan, especially due to the fact that our capital city is right next to the portal to the Air Realm. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are probably going to get into our first scrap with another Sorcerer Lord, but first off, we need to uh, take care of some unsavory barbarians that are in our way. So, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and attack these guys with our mummies. Like so. And now we get to find out whether our magic refreshes in every battle or if it's per turn. Because that'll be somewhat important. Ah, looks like every battle. Excellent. That makes life a whole lot easier for us, to tell you the truth. So, let's, uh... Raise some zombies here. And, yeah. That's going to be good. Raise some more. And we actually, because of these rocks, can kind of split everyone up. Which is very good for us. And more zombies right there to finish that off. And then we'll have our mummies just hanging back here in case they actually break through. Then they'll perform the mop up. Wow, they are really focused on those guys, aren't they? It is all right, though. So, with our guys here, finish off those dwarves. Move them into position. And it's 50% chance. We just did 18 damage to them. They did 11 to us. But it looks like our mummies aren't even going to be involved in this scrap at all. Huzzah! Victory for the powers of the undead. This pleases me. And... We'll go ahead and combine... Uh, the mummies will join ranks with our main army. And we're going to make a march up here to this town. And we're going to take it for our forces. No one's going to claim clams and deer so close to uh, my capital. Grab some more mana. Whoa! Hello, dragon kin. Barbarian dragons. Hold up. Before we uh, move any of our guys here. What's your story? Eww. That is not good at all. So, what we're going to do here... Oh no, we have our summoning circle back at the capital, don't we? I don't want to be distracted. I want to get rid of those guys. Hmm. Alright, fine. Well, actually, we can go ahead and split up the forces. I don't think they have much other than militia over there. So, let's, uh, let's combine the army right there, like so. And now we'll split it up into two separate forces. We've got mummies. Mummies, I guess, will be our generals. And our skeleton warriors. Like so. I think that'll I think that might work. Or do we want to Yeah, let's go ahead and split like so. We'll put that army right here, and we'll send that army to try and help these guys out. I don't know how long they're going to last, to tell you the truth, but we'll give it the old college try. Oh. Well, crap. That's not what I wanted. Um, did we build a road here already? Looks like it. Try 
trying to move his performing... Oh, you're still building a road. Whoops. Never mind. You're close. But let's get you on the road here. And I guess this is still the more, most direct route, unfortunately. Barbarian dragons at the gate. Would you imagine that? Hi guys. What do you got here? Trackers. Whatever those are. Oh, those are the spider people. I think. Or dragon people. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I guess we are just in a dragon slaying kind of mood this episode. And what's the rook building now? Temple reduces unrest by 10% and produces 2 power per turn. I'm actually okay with that considering the Dark Elf affinity toward unrest. That's kind of their shtick. And we're gonna have to do some heavy duty casting when the dragons attack our town here. Yep, saw that coming. Okay, well, let's uh, see what happens. We'll auto-deploy our defenders. And... We're going to be spending all of our mana raising zombies and seeing how that... if that's going to work because our meat shields aren't going to be doing a whole lot of damage. We've, we've seen this established in uh, previous battles. Whoa! They cover ground fast, don't they? How much damage are we doing to him? Oh, not too bad. Good. Good, good, good. Well, let's keep the good times going. My zombie friends... Oh, they're out of reach! Hmm. Because of their flying. So we do have to fight a very defensive battle against these guys. Oh, let's see. Oh, our poor meat shields. Ah, our zombies are doing quite nicely, I have to say. Hooray for Zoidberg. Let's uh, ensure our victory. Goodbye. Stellar. I don't call that good. Now then. Now that that crisis has been dealt with, we can actually have these guys meet up with the main army. Or should we go ahead and try and take them on now? Eh. I'm, I'm actually confident that these guys can do what needs done. So, let's head over here. This action means war. Well, yeah, it does, but... This guy, does, does he look like a uh, diplomatic fellow? Auto-deploy. I mean, we really don't have to do much to tell you the truth. Oh, the zombies are still there. That's nice. Go ahead and flap over here, fodder. Now we could go ahead... I just really like summoning the zombies. The zombies are fun. Actually, I'm... Yeah, let's go ahead and instead of raising zombies, let us do... Let's throw some bile down. Why not? They save. They still took 10, though, so that's good. Ow. Why'd all those guys die? Mindrack, I think, maybe? Oh, yeah, we're actually fighting a sorcerer lord. I forgot about that. Okay. 
Well then, if that is the case... What is the false... Oh, hold on. Let's check this out. Max HP per unit plus 20. Target district... Ah, that's not going to work. Let's go with Bone Aura. Reinforce our archers a little bit. Do as little damage as <laughs> I guess they are capable of. And... Yeah, Mind Rack. Interesting. What are they doing? Hmm. And that just did will saving throw more than anything. Well, let's have our archers keep firing. If that's who they're just if that's the only person that they're really focused on, because I don't think the mummies are going to be able to hit because they're out of reach, like so. Yeah. Hmm. Well then, if that is the case, let's give them no real option here. If they're wanting to head around and hit our archers. There we go, that's what we wanted to see. Poor meat shields. I don't even know why I have them in the army. Oh, okay, we have them in for that reason. That'll do. Cool. Let's do a bit more damage to them. We've got enough for one more bile. And they didn't save. There we go. All right. Uh, you have conquered the settlement. Do you wish to take it and absorb it into your empire or raise it to the ground? Well, the only thing that I'm seeing there is food. And we have plenty of food right now, so I'm actually going to raise it to the ground. Ashes to ashes. Uh, victory for the Wretch King's empire. And now that we are at war... Technically. Well, there's no real technical about it. That that happened. <laughs> I guess we might as well head into Air Realm. And take the fight to them. Either that or just have that army sitting there defending the portal. In case anyone tries to uh, make their intentions known. Now, what else do we have here? Are our engineers done with the road? Looks like it. Let's go ahead and build this last little leg. So we'll have some fast travel. And good. It's our pharaohs who are actually, or our mummies. I keep on wanting to say pharaohs just because of the headgear. But the pharaohs are the ones who are um, relatively slow. Which I guess makes sense. Look at that palisade. That looks awesome. That was a quick turn. I guess the, yeah, the mummies do slow the army down. But I like them, though. So. Let's march them in to the Rook. And then these armies should meet up here in the next turn. While our spirits just grab all the chests here in the realm. Oh, hello. This will not only be useful to me, but to you as well. Unholy weapon. For mana and a cloak of warding, no, not really. Need to be aware that they're just hanging out. Actually, um, hold up. How many people are in? Oh, this is their main force. Looks like they've taken a bit of a pummeling. Look at them. Look at their health down there at the bottom. Ouchies. Now, let's see the Air Realm forces. Minuscule. Really. Spearmen. We're just going to run right over them, I would imagine. Threat is very low. Yeah. Definitely looks that way. Now, the thing that sucks is we're fighting the Dragonkin. 
So it's going to be a, a heavily defensive battle. But I guess we should go ahead and spend most of our resources here actually just raising zombies to get in the way. After our archers try and shoot around those rocks, curve the bullet like champions. And it looks like the zombies... Oh, are they running? You are running, aren't you? Interesting. What are you running from? <laughs> Nothing really I can do. I'm going to go ahead and take that moral victory. No, go on. Got some XP. Now I want these guys to combine their forces because I think that would probably work better than anything. But here's their main force. Let's we'll see what happens when we're fighting spearmen and the like. Now it looks like the only real spell that they that uh, this guy has is Mind Rack. So. And because of these defensive locations, we can basically send our zombies out here to defend, basically um, cause a bottleneck through these areas. So that's kind of cool. Doesn't look like he's casting any spells. Keep on raising. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yeah, let's have them right here and have these guys move up. And we've got this defensive line. And the mummies and the skellies and whatnot, we're gonna just keep back here. And just start plinking down on the spearmen. Actually, right here is good for those. Hmm. Oh, they fly through the obstacles. I see. Interesting. He's thinking. I still can't move. There he goes. He was debating on what to do. I appreciate that, actually. These guys are not good defenders. They're agile as all get out. Oh, we killed them all in one shot. Nice. <clears throat> now, let's go ahead and close the net. Because I don't... Can they leave? Oh, they can leave without a uh, counterattack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey. Leave my skeletons alone. For 6 and 12, yeah, they are pretty doomed. At least I appreciate this guy actually wanting to fight. And we will raise zombies right there. Necromancy is disgusting. I, I am very much a fan. <laughs> I like it. Finish that one off, maybe? Excellent. It's all over now. For six, for two, and our archers, yoink, we'll clear that up. And, oh, we can actually clear some of these dungeons out now because of our uh, large army. That's awesome. But right now, we are busy. Now, are you guys going to run again? Because if so, 
Well, let's, yeah, let's keep the auto deploy going. I'm going to move all my guys up. If that's how we're playing it. Now, after we beat these guys down, I'm actually going to send the force of the skeletons and the pharaoh. Um, the force that was going to combine. I'm actually going to send them to the portal. And they're just going to sit there pretty. It's not necessarily that I wanted to fight any of Air Realm's... Uh, any of their forces, it's just I really just want them out of my backyard. So, can I cast? Yep, can always cast. That's good. Now, good, they've accepted their fate. That's commendable. It really is. Zombies move up. And can we keep... That's weird. We have to keep on uh, moving them in other directions. And it doesn't look like we can... I think now we can move them. I was wanting to move our spider cavalry back. Can we? There we are. We don't really need them in this case. And we can... Pop the zombies up right there. We just have this mountain of undead before they even touch our actual army. Oh crap. Well, <laughs> that was kind of dumb on our part. Who are you attacking, though? There's zombies everywhere. Looks like they're debating. They have 30 and 36. The computer is going back and forth between both forces. I think one thing I could literally just have them completely surrounded by zombies. Yeah, if you guys can make up your mind anytime now, I would appreciate that. I wonder if that's a bug and they're going back and forth like that. And turn. Hmm. Okay. They're debating their fate. And I can't click on anything else. No! Did I get frozen in battle for all time? I think I might have. Hold on one sec, guys. So, apparently it wouldn't let me exit out of the game at all, so I had to restart from the beginning of the turn and do those battles all over again, guys. But I did clear them out. Um, I unfortunately did lose the archer. The dragonkin were just kind of relentless towards them. But otherwise, it was business as usual, so uh, we still have a pretty significant army here. Now, in terms of these guys, we're going to go ahead and continue what we were doing. And we are going to move them to the air portal. Now, as far as our main or army goes, they are going to head back to the Rook to kind of lick their wounds, get their fallen dealt with, fresh zombies. You guys know the drill, how that normally goes. And we will see what happens because that's kind of cool that you can blockade a portal. Very similar to the garrison that we had to take on when we originally uh, found the portal in the first place. But after our army is healed, we're actually going to start clearing out a lot of these areas around, I'm thinking. Maybe grab some heroes and such. Which it looks like that's what everyone else is doing. Like that guy just did. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that very, very much. Oh, well. Such is life. Now, these guys are in the Rook. We've got... Well, what can we learn here? Evil Presence. Let's go ahead and learn... Disenchant Area? Yeah, that looks good. That works for me.
Uh, more bar bars have entered the fray. Now then. Ah, our road's completed. Stellar. So let's go ahead and I guess... One, two, through the swamp. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and start building a road to our other settlement. Now, in terms of our army, because our army had to combine because of that unfortunate business. Arrow, dot, dot, like so. We split them right there. And then we send them to the portal. There we are. That's better. And we do need to start clearing out some of this stuff before this guy comes in with his force. Actually, um... He doesn't have a whole lot of army left. He's got a few clerics and some defenders. And apparently I accidentally ordered, um... Hmm. Air Gateway. Do we want to interact with it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and travel to airplane. Where was the closest settlement? It was right here, wasn't it? Yeah. I wonder what they have for their defenses. I guess we are soon going to find out. Now, back here... We, unfortunately, were not listening to directions, were we? I want you to heal up. Or, there we go. I want you to heal up so we can start clearing these places out. Now, let's get some quick recon as to, uh... Oh, are we, are we healed? Yay, we're healed. Let's get some, before we start moving that army out... Let's look at what we have in front of us here. Okay, no, not really. I just want to see... And we got Dragonkin. Two, two, one. Threat is very high, however. So let's not worry about that for right now. We could go ahead and summon some guys and make that a lot easier for us, but we don't really have time in this episode, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here, and when we get back, we're going to start clearing out some of these uh, towers and such and hopefully get some uh, good loot as well. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.